Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, majestic galactic star warriors of our universal alliance of light. As we continue our journey through the Lion's Gate portal, we are being inundated with a higher influx of gamma plasma waves of higher light directly from the great central sun. Our local Solaris released multiple C-class solar flares again today and two more M-class with the most powerful maxing at M 2.04 at 440 UTC. 444 flowing in. Gaia and all her children of the sun receive more codes of freedom and peace from the Most High, Mother, Father, God, Source, Creator. We had a huge blast of white light on the Schumann charts today at 90 hertz and then a blackout followed by amplitudes of 17 hertz, 20 hertz, and 24 hertz. As we rise and ascend in the glory of the holy fire and at the same time descend with the holy waters into the void of time and space, the Holy Spirit is with us now. This is the rise and fall of the sine wave of the one law of the universe, the in-breath and out-breath, the pulse of life. We call in our higher self to connect and merge with our 3D temples of light as we navigate in between worlds with one foot in heaven and the other upon earth and merge the two in unity through our rainbow bridge of pure awareness of Buddha mind. The awakening of human consciousness has reached a new precipice in our ascension journey as we break through all barriers and gates that keep us from our divine destiny. Keep anchoring in the crystalline codes of the Christo Sophia and let go of all that no longer serves yourself or the collective as we make our final preparations for our quantum leap of consciousness in this great shift of the ages into the new golden age of eternal life. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our newer scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful divine decree on the rays of divine perfection. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 24 degrees, 18 minutes Capricorn. The sun is at 8 degrees, 20 minutes Leo. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 9 degrees Leo. A communist activist spreading his revolutionary ideals. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 25 degrees Capricorn. An oriental rug dealer in a store filled with precious ornamental rugs. From astrologyweekly.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sophie Gregoire. Update. Super full moon on approach. An auspicious moment of light and high vibes. Your work is being rewarded. This is a collective success. You deserve this. Your constant devotion to the path is paying off. Joy, receiving, tension easing to be replaced by more light. From SophieGregoire.com And today from Divine Broth or of the Light Pars Kute. Incoming higher frequency of divine new energy is inviting us to ascend to higher levels and be of service for the highest and greatest good for all concerned. Within divine love of one, Pars Kute. And today from divine sister of the light, Judith Kusel. Immense things are happening on galactic levels with regard to this planet, and indeed we will be witnessing this now on many levels. The time has come. All souls on this planet come from the original twelve master galaxies who co-created the earth. All are here now to see the old into completion and fully establish the new. You come from the stars, and it is time to reclaim your true galactic heritage with love. 
from judithkusel.com and from Divine Broth or of the Light Holger Kirchhoff. Balanced Christo Sophia Code, higher heart plus higher mind as one, Holy Spirit and Holy Matter as one, Divine Masculine plus Divine Feminine as one, Divine Light and Divine Love as one, New Heaven plus New Earth as one, and every human master soul will be done as one heart, mind, spirit, and soul, named Dream Team Humanity as a whole, Homo Christos as Sophianic race, to be as cosmic human angel, free to radiate source embodiment as purest love for all to see. And from Divine Sistar of the Light Valerie A. Elster, You will get what you need, if you allow the feminine to flow unbridled, unrestricted, unregulated, unhitched from society's standards and your own of how things should be, what it looks like outside of your comfort zone, trust in the flow of nature, for that is the wild natural state of the feminine energy. It is within you and magnified in a Magdalene woman, one connected to her power through her voice and yoni from valerieelster.com and from divine sis star of the light elizabeth landvari ancient cities rising from the depths we consider as gorges gaia is adjusting changing rebalancing and growing mother earth reveals the secrets of our past incarnations are you ready and from divine sis star of the light jennifer catron Big weekend for those who made a jump to the Ascension timeline this month. Initiates received keys and instruction sets for their next roles as they step through the gates again Saturday night after multiple initiations, mostly around the level of integrity one can walk in. Around July 13th, there was a convergence where higher aspects dropped in. Council called this special juncture a change of the guard. As new roles have been assigned, many have officially left the karmic overlays as well as ancient contracts, while others agreed to another round. The rearrangement of contracts versus soul agreements stabilized this weekend. The return of the Holy Grail, the truest scene, the restored Paleodorian Covenant, true Magi kings and queens ushering new earth grid activations, the law of one established, anchored within all lower realms and bandwidths. Now that the next wave of guardians have stepped fully into their roles, I see many others feeling the release of their previous roles to their physical monad, and aligning with their chosen parallel trajectory. June was the release and purge of the toxic masculine personally as well as collectively. July was the same for the dark feminine, August brings union within and without. Take what resonates. I work specifically with my own grid assignments, monad and oversoul, as far as what's seen in the field of the collective consciousness and instructions being dispersed within my specific tribe in council. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light Shea from Numbers by Shea Numerology, 73123. As July comes to an end, it appears that many are very happy to see it go. But July's mission was not to enable us to rattle on as usual. It was in fact to shake us and bake us. Because only then will we change. Only then will we let go. July revealed the truth. That's it. Today is for wrapping up your business with it. If possible, don't leave things hanging or loose ends to trip you up. Maybe you can't act yet, but you can definitely see where action is needed, so plan for it. Tomorrow launches a month of busyness, balancing, consequences, and real progress. Your right action today is to face forward and get ready to grow. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D., Super Full Moon Energy, August 1st, 2023. Dear friends, the energetic influence of the first full moon of August is already arriving into our planet. 
The climax of this energy wave will take place on the first day of the new month, however. The full moon codes are already flowing in and will be affecting us all this first week of the month. Unlike a regular new moon and full moon, which are famous for bringing change and abundance with them, supermoons add a boost of luck, positivity, and a big burst of energy to the planet when they occur. When a supermoon graces the night sky, it offers up the chance for you to release the things that are holding you back. During a supermoon, tides can vary up to two whole inches when compared to more regular tides. The first supermoon of August takes place in the air sign of Aquarius. The special full moon will reveal the ways you are being called to innovate and revolutionize parts of your life that have been slow, restricted, and stagnant for too long. This energy will help you to intellectually make sense of the new directions you need to take during the rest of the year. It's time to make space within yourself, out with the old, in with the new. Emotionally speaking, old and new fears may resurface so you can face them and move courageously ahead. The energy of the supermoon will assist you in finding the answers you need and the ways to move past these fears. Shortly after this full moon reaches its peak, we will find ourselves walking into the Lion's Gate climax on August 8th. As we have mentioned in previous posts, Lion's Gate is an energy portal that honors the rising of the sun Sirius, our spiritual sun. As our spiritual sun rises, it is reborn, and we too can feel the rebirth of our own spirit energy under this portal. This energy which is already flowing, together with the two super full moons of this month, will make August an incredible time period for self-healing and soul enlightenment. Have a wonderful week and an amazing month of August. Much love, we are one. From DiegoBerman.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ali Ray. For some, a profound transformation is currently underway. This transformation is being felt in the body with many pulses and sensations moving through various parts of the body. With these sensations, there is often a releasing of emotion often experienced unexpectedly, or bringing with it also a memory of some kind. This experience may also include ringing of the ears, extreme sensitivity to light, extreme sensitivity to sound, periods of vertigo, a feeling of various spinning sensations, dizziness, heart palpitations, lightheadedness, exhaustion, intense electrical sensations, headache, inability to think straight, as well as various sensations of contraction and expansion in the brain. Along with these physical sensations, some are being thrust through a myriad of emotions that feel uncontrollable, and some of this is accompanied with lifetime memories or even ancient visions. Indeed, some are moving through a very holy corridor at this time. If you resonate with anything here, then you know. Precious hearts, all is well. It truly is. Some have asked, am I going to make it? I don't know if I can make it through this. Dear one, you are moving through this sacred passage, and there is nothing happening beyond your ability to move through it. It is true. We are never given an experience beyond our ability to process. Your heart knows and holds within it all the guidance you require to fulfill this holy endeavor. There is much that can be said about all of this, but for now, let's be in silence together in our hearts. Breathe, relax deeply, release the need to figure anything out. Nurture your body as it flows through this process and resist the compulsion to label or judge what is happening. Dwell in the sacredness of each breath, moving deeper and deeper into the peace within your heart. All is unfolding perfectly without your effort. Breathe and allow it all to be. It is a most holy happening. No fear, only love. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. 144 coming in. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Linda Lee. Dear family of love and light, the Divine has a quick message for you. 
The Divine says that since the Divine has shifted the planet to a higher realm lately, the planet now has settled and is feeling comfortable in this new location. The Divine and the Company of Heaven are now switching gears and focusing on the establishment of the Divine Government again. The Divine says that the planet needs the Divine Government to manage the Ascension process. Humanity, too, is eager to have the Divine Government on Earth so that humanity will have the Divine Parents on Earth and feel the Divine Connection through its Divine Parents on Earth. Gaia is also very eager to have the Divine Government to be established so that her Ascension can be protected and succeed. The Divine says right now, the Divine is working on the leaders of the Divine Government on Earth. The Divine says that most of the leaders and members of the Divine Government are ready and in their position now. However, there are a few of the critical leaders who are still somewhere else and did not show up to their mission after the Divine Duty calls. The Divine says it is time that the Divine focuses on these souls and gets them to the position. The Divine says currently there are a lot of light workers who have not been on duty. Some abandon their light work completely. Others are hiding behind the scenes and not willing to come forward and do their job. The Divine has called these light workers consistently, but no avail. So now the Divine has decided to bring in more light workers and replace the ones who are not willing to do the light work. The Divine says that the newcomers will arrive shortly and they will start their light work after the arrival. Besides the light workers who have not performed their job, their divine says that there are critical light workers who are an integral part of the divine government on earth. These light workers have to participate in the establishment of the divine government. The divine is focusing on these light workers and making sure that they carry out their mission. The divine says that once these light workers are in their position, the divine will start the final stage of the unfoldment of the divine government. The process is supposed to be quick so that the Divine Government can be brought to our reality in a matter of months. The Divine is determined to establish the Divine Government on Earth, and the Divine says that the process has gotten to the last steps. The Divine and the Company of Heaven are extremely excited about the process and want to thank Lightworkers for a job well done. Great accomplishment indeed. Linda Lee, the Divine, and the Company of Heaven. So it is. And today from Divine Brother of the Light, Richard Rudd, Gene Keys, Unlocking the Higher Purpose Hidden in Your DNA. Gene Key 33, The Final Revelation. July 31st through August 5th, 2023, Forgetting, Mindfulness, Revelation. The gift can turn the whole of your life into a blaze of presence and peacefulness. Retreat does not have to be something we do after we've been in action. The retreat can be in the action itself. That is a gift from heaven. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways. And from the Yi Cheng, the classic book of change, Hexagram 33, Retreat, Sun Sets Behind the Mountain. Attaining the insight of heaven through the stillness of body and mind. Revelation is the beauty of stillness. Mindfulness is the freshness of restraint. Forgetting is the entropy of stress. Creating appreciation. Advantage comes from firm correctness and attention to details. From GeneKeys.com, we have more 144 codes flowing in through the timeless space of eternity. From Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurora Ray. Transmission from the Galactic Federation. Greetings, friends. I've received a new communication from the Galactic Federation to deliver to you. I am delighted to share the following message with you. Greetings. We are the Galactic Federation of Free Worlds. We greet you in love and light. Many of you are experiencing tremendous upheavals in your physical, emotional, and mental bodies at this time. It is part of a process that many call ascension, where you shift from the third dimension to the fifth dimension. The Galactic Federation, comprised of many benevolent extraterrestrial civilizations, is a federation of sentient beings from all over the universe 
who have come together to help humanity and Mother Earth on our journey into the light. This message is part of telepathic communication from the Galactic Federation. It is being delivered through a number of people around the world who are communicating with us on behalf of their groups and followers. We are pleased that so many people have responded to our message. Our mission is to inform humanity about the changes taking place on your planet and encourage everyone to step into their own power in order to become true masters of the physical world and ultimately spiritual masters as well. We understand that this transformation will take some time for most people. We want to offer you guidance about what's happening right now so you don't have to figure it out alone. We are all part of the same infinite creator. There is no separation between us. In fact, there never was. We are all one. We are here to share our wisdom and help guide you through the coming days so that you can enjoy your journey on planet Gaia. We are here to help you heal and to help you remember who you really are so that you can move forward with your life in a positive way. This process is about your evolution into light beings and we want to help you find your place in the great light family of the cosmos. You are all magnificent beings, full of great love and compassion, courage and passion. You have come into this existence to experience life and all that you can be. We wish to help you achieve your highest potential as you move into the new age of enlightenment, which is now upon you. The first step to having a clear mind is letting go of all the negative thoughts behaviors and emotions that don't serve you. It is not easy. It's even painful at first, but you have to do it if you want to make any progress. You have been through an intense purging process and you have experienced multiple fears, anxieties, doubts, and feelings of being overwhelmed. Now you are experiencing many physical symptoms similar to when you were going through puberty. Many people are being guided to eat more protein-rich foods like meats or take protein shakes or buy vitamin B or C supplements because they feel weak, tired, and run down. The galactic gateway that recently opened is causing tremendous upheavals in your physical, emotional, and mental bodies. It is ushering in a huge wave of cosmic energy that will continue coming in throughout this year and well into the next. The influx of energy is causing dramatic changes in your DNA that will help you ascend from the third dimension to the fifth dimension. The fear you have of the future is based on the past. The fear you have of the past is based on a future that hasn't happened yet. If you can let go of judgment, then there's no need for fear. Have you ever noticed that many of the so-called negative emotions are actually quite positive? For example, Anger is really a sign of passion or love, and resentment is often an indication that you care deeply about something. The key to transforming negative emotions into positive ones is to understand that feeling something strongly does not necessarily mean being negative about it. It just means you feel it strongly. And once you realize that, you can take action based on your feelings instead of trying to deny them and bury them deep. Anger can be very good for when it's channeled into something constructive, like taking action against injustice. Resentment can actually be a sign of caring too much. If you don't feel resentment towards someone who has hurt or betrayed you, then their actions might not have affected you as deeply as they otherwise would have if you have cared less about them. And fear can be a sign of wisdom and self-preservation. It's just not always easy to see that when we're in the middle of feeling afraid or anxious. The divine light will lift you up out of the world of illusions, into a new reality of unconditional love and understanding. People who cannot let go of the past or forgive themselves and others will not find the peace that they long for. Forgiveness is probably one of the greatest tools that we can give you at this time, because without forgiveness... There is no true freedom. You cannot be free. You can do it by getting in touch with your feelings and the cause of those feelings. Then you can forgive yourself and others too. Forgiveness is a process, but once you let go of the pain, you can move forward with love and light. You are loved. You are beautiful. 
You are enough. You are powerful beyond imagination. The war is over and you won. You won. It's all over. The light has come in and you're in the new world now. Say it with confidence. I'm in the new world now. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho. Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation from the galacticfederation.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica, preparing for the future, leaders of light, for the energies ebb and flow as we align to the complexities before us, guided by the light, for many are feeling the intensity of now, the waypoint of rapid light assimilation, coupled with the transformational narrative of your world. We ask you to take a moment to perceive the great perception of now. Realize this light energy is paving the way for the future. We ask you to see this now moment as a path of preparation. For you are individually and collectively preparing for the future catalyst of your world. Many are feeling the ripple effect of this light narrative. The future timelines integrating coupled with the light preparations of your mission now reaching a maximum point of accelerated growth, simply and exponentially preparing you for the next phase of human evolution. Be conscious of this message, for dimensional preparations are ongoing as your world continues to awaken. Ground on Mother Gaia, find the power of gratitude to rapidly manifest the path before you. For the light pioneers are paving the way for the collective frequency of humanity. For your light advancement is accelerated in your light field, striving forward. Our activated light fields activate the new light codes. Simply bathe in the light of now. Great light advancements are underway. Sending waves of cosmic love, the Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Carolyn 144 God Code. With the full moon, we are being asked to release the limiting ideas about ourselves. This is the end of letting negative thinking hold us back any longer. Take action on the intuition guiding you to make new decisions based on the information surfacing. We have the opportunity as conscious beings to own our sacred life force power and soar in creating our very blessed life. Surrender to more joy. Align with the knowing that your needs are always met. Enjoy fun and pleasurable experiences with your family and friends. Doing so will help cultivate this new understanding about yourself and who you are. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn. From 144godcode.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Colleen Lemma. On Monday, July 31st, the moon, ruler of our emotional fluctuations, is in Capricorn, sign of the goat. Throughout the day, she will connect with Chiron, ruler of past life wounds and traumas, Uranus, planet of epiphanies and revelations, Venus, ruler of relationships and self-worth, Neptune, planet of illusions and fantasies, and Pluto, ruler of power and transformation. The energies are growing in intensity as we approach the full moon in Aquarius, the next sign of the zodiac on Tuesday. We are also in the Lion's Gate portal right now, so everything is magnified. There are evolutionary changes that are happening within us and outside of us. Our psychic perceptions are heightened, our emotional sensitivities greater, and death and rebirth energies stronger. Pay attention to signs, messages, and spiritual guidance now. Pay attention to the inner calling within your soul. Blessings of love and light to all from sacredsoulempowerment.com. 1111 flowing in. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Lunar aspects, busy, busy, busy. I clean the window until it squeaks. The smell of vinegar strong in my nose. So much to do, so little time. I'm tempted to push harder, work faster, but the glass forces me to slow down. Less resistance means more flow, but irritation blooms like little cracks in my resolve. 
Perhaps this is you trying to smash through as much work as humanly possible on a Monday morning, starting early to get ahead of the day. Lunch. Too many carbs for a quick boost, more work, a slump. Exhausted on the commute home, then suddenly wide awake ten minutes before you're meant to be asleep so that you can do the same all over again tomorrow. Somewhere a small voice screams, this is madness. Take time out to gaze at the sky to bring a sense of space and distance. Root your feet into the earth to ground any anxiety. Acknowledge what you've already accomplished. Monitor your energy levels and adjust accordingly. Alter your routine to create greater efficiency. Free up time for passion projects to give you inspiration and a feeling of fulfillment. Trust that your efforts will make a difference. Success is one part motivation and nine parts consistency. Reframe. The moon is forming a fleeting grand trine with Mars and Jupiter. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 179, Blue Planetary Storm. Planetary is the name for the number 10, and its keywords are perfect, manifest, and produce. It's day 10 of the white dog wave spell, and this is the perfect storm. No running or hiding from this powerful energy, you will get blown away. The number 10 represents manifesting, and the storm symbolizes changes, and so they go together really well. In fact, they are perfect. Think about what you set out to achieve on day 1. Today is the day when you really can manifest results. Tomorrow is the 11th day when we release the and the wave spell energy begins to dissipate. So if you don't make it happen today, that ship is going to set sail and you'll miss an opportunity. Remember the dog wave spell is about love and heart and tenacity. Use this tenacity today to succeed in your mission. Today is blue storm which represents self-generation, catalyst, and energy. If you are brave and ride this perfect storm and can harness its energy, you can achieve incredible life-changing things. Most folks can't cope with the disruption and the craziness, and if you are one of these people, all you can do is seek shelter and find comfort in knowing it will all blow away by tomorrow. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Planetary Storm, Ten Kawak, Keen 179, 31st of July, 2023, Manifesting Global Transformation, 317-2023 equal 477 equal 414 equal 45 equal 9. Day codes, 31. Genius number, think outside the box. 4. Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, Angelic. 9. Completion, Endings, Humanity, Mission, Divinity, Grace. Month year codes. 7. Magic, Mystic, Spiritual, Solitude, Initiation. 14. Media, Publicity, Promotion, Recognition. 5. Freedom, Change, Transformation, Movement, Liberation. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 2. Partner, Twin, Cooperation, Alliances. 23. Royal Star of the Lion, Strength, Protection. Keen 179 equal 8. Abundance, Infinity, Flow, In-Breath, Out-Breath. Another very significant day where we are manifesting magical planetary transformation through purification, leading to greater love on our planet. Today's planetary storm is another pivotal day for our planetary evolution. Tremendous transformative power is being catalyzed to accelerate our collective manifestation of bliss on Earth through harmony, peace, and unification. Day 10 in the white dog wave spell of unconditional love, loyalty, devotion, service, friendship, and faith. We are uncovering and healing all that separates us from source love in order to be love. Today we have very active energies. Huge transformation is being catalyzed through this opportunity today. This energy provides for action-packed manifestation. We are catalyzing great change in our physical world in order to perfect the production of unconditional love. Tone of creation, planetary tone 10 in the physical realm, action produces, power perfects, 
essence, manifestation. The tenth stage of the wave spell is the perfection of all we imagined as possible and more. It is the harvest stage where we happily reap our manifest splendor. The forms we have been imagining begin to manifest into our reality, and our lives begin to reflect the deep soul longings that we desire. Planetary energies enable us to build and manifest strong connections with our beloveds today. We have the power to manifest and produce incredible prosperity, happiness, and joy, both in our hearts and the planetary heart of Nova Gaia. A powerful day to get physical, using divine alchemy to manifest from the ethers into matter. Today holds the incredible codes for purification, transformation, and planetary evolution. So let us pray and hold the intention that Gaia fully catalyzes these cleansing energies to restore her pristine, life-sustaining, and enhancing blueprint. Trust in the power of the Great Spirit today and the winds of great change to catalyze the tremendous peaceful changes that our planet needs. Alleluia, it is done. Today's question is how can I harness the power of the storm to catalyze great transformation and manifest healing in my world? Divine blessings for unleashing a great deluge of positive, life-enhancing transformation. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 179, Blue Planetary Storm. The mantra, the code for today is, I perfect in order to catalyze, producing energy. I seal the matrix of self-generation with the planetary tone of manifestation. I am guided by the power of accomplishment. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Brother of the Light, Milo Shradek. For another donation, thank you very much, Divine Brothor. We appreciate you and your continued support. I'd like to also thank Divine Brothor of the Light, Aaron Flovenson, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Brothor. We appreciate you and your continued support. And I'd like to also thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Ashtara Aset Ra. For another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful divine decree from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sandra Walter. Divine perfection equals proper use of life force a living light intelligence to support your journey. And for the divine decree, I call forth the rays of divine perfection from the grand central sun through Solaris, our sun, through my Christ presence, higher self, and into my body vehicle to provide complete support. 
integrate all initiations, activations, wisdom, and infinite blessings, which are perfect for my journey in this now moment. From ascensionpath.com Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and powerful full super moon in Aquarius tomorrow and magnificent month of August in the powerful 8-8 Lion's Gate. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.